Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do my sister's makeup. She is going out of town to Vegas. So the first thing you want to do is put a primer in your face. It will conceal all of the pores that you have. Now that we did her eyebrows, I am going in with Maybelline uh, concealer. And I am just cleaning up her eyebrows just to make them uh, shape them a little bit better. You also want to make sure that you bring the concealer all the way down to her eyelids. Uh, she does have a lot of uh, pigmentation in her eyes, so I did put a second coat of it. The reason you want to put concealer all over your eyelid is so that you can conceal all the blemishes that you have in your eyes and make it a, an even color. Today we are going to use a Morphe 15D palette. Instead of using a setting powder in your eye, I am going to use the, the shadow called Natural. Uh, this will set the concealer you put in your eye. This will help you with the rest of the shadows that you're going to use. It helps you blend it really easily. The next shadow I'm going to use is called a beat. Uh, this I will put it on the crease of the eye and I use the brush Luxie 249. Uh, this is going to help you make your eye look bigger and it's going to be the transition color that you're going to use. next brush we are going to use is called 35e this is my favorite brush to blend any eyeshadow you have i'm using the morphe r35 and using the same eyeshadow just to make it a little more deeper And again, using my favorite brush to blend. Blending will be your best friend uh, doing makeup. What I'm doing now is I am using the same Maybelline concealer to uh, conceal all her lid. And the reason I am doing this is so that the next eyeshadow that I place in her eye is going to make the color pop even more. The eyeshadow I'm going to use is called Spark, and a very good uh, tip is to use any setting spray. I'm using the Milani spray. This is going to help your eyeshadow stick a lot faster, and it's going to make it look brighter and shinier. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye.
Now what I'm going to do is use the Luxie 131 uh, brush and the shade in the crease. And all I'm going to do is blend out all of the shadows that I put in her eye. It gives it a little bit more of a color and it looks more natural. And most importantly, it will delete all of the harsh lines that you have. I'm having my sister do her own eyeliner and we're using the Black Magic uh, pencil. I got this in my BoxyCharm uh, subscription that I have. It is honestly the best eyeliner that I've ever owned. It is so easy to control. All I'm doing here is cleaning up a little bit of the eyeshadow that I brought too low in her eye. And all you have to do is use any concealer and just do a straight line and clean up all the extra eyeshadow that you have. I sprayed a little bit of this Tarte uh, setting spray just so I could moist her face before I put foundation and I'm using the CoverGirl and the Awe. I am mixing these two together because she did just come back from Thailand and her foundation colors don't match her face. And also make sure you shake your foundation very well before you use it. Just so all the oils that your foundation has mixes in together. I'm using my favorite brush for foundation is the Morphe Y7. If you do want a flawless look, this is a very the most important part of your makeup is to spend time with your foundation and blend it as well as you can. And don't forget to bring it all the way down to your neck. I'm using the Smashbox Concealer. I'm going to use this under her eye and all of the highest points in her face, which is her under eye, her nose, her uh, cheek, and her forehead. I felt like the other concealer was a little too dark for her, so I'm coming in with the CoverGirl Concealer. And I'm using the Morphe G6. Uh, this is the best brush you can use for your concealer. It's a really nice size. It's not too big and it's not too small. Now to put a little bit more color in her face, I am using my brush and the Maybelline concealer kit that she has and I'm using that to bronze her cheeks. So what you want to contour is your cheeks and a little bit of your forehead if you want your forehead to look a little bit smaller and also your jaw. Now you want to come in with a small brush and contour your nose. Just make sure that you blend as much as you can.
I'm using the cover FX and all I'm doing is doing her contour a little bit darker. I'm using the Morphe Y12 just to contour her nose a little bit more. I noticed that left it a little bit harsh. If you want it to look a little bit more natural, make sure you put blush. Now I'm using the brush Y22 and the eyeshadow in the crease. Just on the bottom of your eye, I used to put an, a black eyeliner in back then, but it would never work, it would never stay. It would always smear all everywhere. So I started doing an eyeshadow in the bottom and honestly, it's the best decision I've ever done. It, my eye looks bigger and your makeup looks a lot more finished. This is my favorite part of the makeup is just use a simple highlighter and put it in the inner corner of your eye and as well as underneath your eyebrows and it's going to make your eye look bigger, brighter and you're going to look so awake and refreshed. You're going to use the Milani setting spray for all your face and just make sure you dry it a little bit and then you're going to put in uh, your highlighter and doing this first is going to help your highlighter to pop even more. I'm using the Kat Von D uh, lipstick in the shade Lolita. Honestly, this is my favorite lipstick. I also got this in my BoxyCharm uh, subscription that I have. And it actually dries uh, nude, which I love. Well, this is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching it and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel 